stop. Progress. Hey, let's talk about why most bookkeepers limit their success. So this is a very, very, very important topic, right? Because the number one thing that I see um, that causes most people to struggle is not really an external thing. It's not like, you know, like the people are against you or you can't find clients or you can't do X, Y, Z. It's, it's really what's inside of you. It's really what's inside of you. So how you feel in your heart, how you feel in your head and the thoughts that you use to kind of navigate the world. Now, if you want some help before you even jump into this video, growing your accounting or your bookkeeping business, and you've been trying to do it on your own, and you've been trying, you're, you're either thinking about it or you're trying to get started, it's just not working for whatever reason, but you don't really know why it's not working, or you don't really know, you know how to move on to the next level, but you're trying to grow, you're trying to make that level, you're trying to reach your goal, go ahead and click on the link inside the description below to book a call with me. On that call, we're gonna do three things. We're gonna say like, hey, where are you right now? Like, like, what is the business? What does your life look like right now? And next, where do you wanna go? Like, what, is your, what does it look like once you've actually reached that goal and you've reached your vision? And then finally, if I think it can help, I'll just outline what that process would look like for us to work together to accomplish that goal. Um, and if it makes sense, we can get you onboarded right then and there and can move forward towards your dreams together. Now, what are the things that cause most people to struggle? It's like your mind chatter kind of happened. Um, a good example of a student who overcame this mindset chatter was Ashley. So when Ashley first got started, she had a number of people who were reaching out to her in her local area, and they were basically saying like, hey, um, you know, uh, whenever you're ready to start, like, we, we want to work with you. And I was like, okay, cool. We, we talked on our, on our initial um, consultation call for joining my program. I'm like, oh, dude, this is awesome. You have four people. They already want your help. And like, we just had to go and just make sure the sales presentation, the sales format is really good. Then when you go speak to them, they're going to be willing to pay you, you know, a, a pretty good amount of money. So session number one goes in. We talk, we talk. Say, okay, cool. So you're going to reach out to them. You're going to go and book this call. Coaching call number two goes. And I'm like, hey, so how did you do last week? Did you book these calls? How is this going? Like, when are they scheduled? Oh, I didn't do it. And I was like, what? Why not? And he said, oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So next time, then we'll have that done by next time, right? She goes, yeah. Get on call number three. Same thing. And we had to dig into like, you know, what, what, what's up? What, why, why are we not making the progress? Like all, like she'd even gotten more people to say they're interested. So she had like six people to say they're interested, but she just, for whatever reason, was not pulling the trigger. So we got to like, we, we just kind of asked, like, I think it's like called, it's the exercise called asking six whys. It's like, why did you not do this? Why did you not do that? Well, why, well, why, well, why? And then you get to the real core problem of exactly what's holding the person back. And for her, it was that, you know, she had previously, um, you know, struggled in a business that she used to run. And it was really hard for her to get sales, hard for her to get people to say yes. And she ended up having to, you know, go through the embarrassment of, just the business not working out. And that's a, that's something I, I've experienced too. Like, like this is not by no means my first business. And even then it took me two times of starting this business before my accounting, my bookkeeping firm in order for me to actually find success, right? I mean, I, I've been in business for about a decade. Um, and the reason why it's a decade, but I've only ran my accounting business for the last seven years because the first three years I had a business and I was like doing things like on e-commerce, right? So doing Amazon, um, eBay and drop shipping because that, that's that's the easiest thing that I that I thought I could do, you know, just start selling stuff online. And, you know, it was doing okay, but I ended up failing with that. It, and I had to like shut it down. And like, it was one of those things where everyone had known that I was like, you know, into business and everybody was always asking blah, 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 blah. Like, why is business not still around? Why are you not doing this? What What's up? And, you know, kind of feeling that, that embarrassment. And then I, so I understood where she was coming from. So we had to first say, you know, like, well, what happens if you do fail? Okay, cool. Well, what happens if you don't fail? Okay, cool. Now, what happens if you don't fail, you start talking to people, and then they say that they, they're not interested in your service because it's too much money? Well, this happens. Okay, cool. What happens if this, you, you get the call, they say yes, and you start working? Well, this happens. Okay, cool. We just kept saying, like, what are the alternatives? What is the success? What is the failure? Is the failure going to be to a point to where it's like it's unbearable or is it more going to be like really high, really high reward, really low risk? And after she started looking at it from that perspective, and then after she got some confirmation that, you know, she really could do it and people actually did like her and wanted to work with her and she wasn't going to fail, that's when she stopped having those limiting beliefs, those limiting mindset patterns that were causing her to fail. And that caused her to start succeeding. Um, she was at like seven grand a month and under, I think it, it took only like three, uh, probably four months to get to about seven grand a month starting from uh, zero. And so it's not, it's not that 
that growing your business is hard. So if that's you, hopefully it gives some hope. Um, if you're on either end of the spectrum, of the spectrum, like of, of the lower end or the higher end, hopefully this gives you some hope too, because all it is is just you learn different skill sets, you change your mental um, habits, you develop yourself as a, as a person, then you're able to go and grow a business that can give you as much freedom as you want to spend time with your family, your loved ones, go on vacation, um, go watch the horse races, go to art shows. Um, and yeah, you just live the life that you want. Now, if you want some help going and reaching your goals, maybe you've been trying um, for a little while, it's just not quite working the way that you either anticipated or you just don't really know exactly what caused you to go and get to that next level of success. Maybe $10,000, $12,000, dollars per month, or maybe your goal is like $25,000 per month. If that's where you are and you want some help growing your business, go ahead and click on the link inside the description below to book a call with me. On that call, we're gonna do three things. We're gonna say, hey, where are you right now? Where do you wanna go? And thirdly, if I think it can help you out, I'm going to outline what that process looks like, what it looks like for us to work together, and you're going to be able to know exactly what you need to do to grow your business moving forward. And even if we don't work together right then and there, that's okay too. At least you can have a solid game plan as to what you need to accomplish um, until it is time for us to work together. Now, if you're ready for the call, go ahead and click on the link below. Book the call right now. If you're not quite ready, that's okay. No harm, no foul. You can just keep watching these videos until um, you know things are in a slightly different position, and you can book a call at that time. Hopefully you have a great rest of your evening. I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you later.